Hello, this is Pavel Živný. I'm, we are talking to you from OFC 2016. We have a really cool display here where we are showing generation and then measurement on 100 gigabit per second, single lane, one wavelength, single lane, just true serial 100 gigabit stream. So here is the overview of our setup. So what we do here, we have an electrical signal generation, we combine signal. So uh, we, have, uh, we are using our PPG3202 uh, to, uh, at running right now at 28 giga, two channels. We combine that into one 56 gigabit stream in this max from SHF. All right, we have one gigabit stream, but I am using both data and data bar. So consider it two streams. I delay them so they are not uh, synchronous. And then uh, each of those two streams, 56 gigabit streams, is then translated into optical domain. And here I have the outputs, so they are the two optical signals at uh, 56 gigabit each, PAM2 and RZ at this point. I combine them in an optical combiner. So this optical combiner takes the two streams. I need to align the streams and I need to attenuate one of them, so that's done here in a, just optical attenuator and optical delay line. The combined 56 gigabit stream is then giving me this uh, a PAM4 56 gigabaud I, so 2 bits per UI, so 56 gigabaud that yields 112 gigabit per second true serial on this one fiber and you can see the eye is clean, opening on every, uh, every level, you have three clean eyes. So this is uh, fantastic in terms both of the overall speed, but uh, in particular in the way we acquire the signal. We have our Tektronix ATC-10C optical module acquiring the signal at this speed. This module is capable of doing a clean receiver for the optical standards at 56 giga, but it can also go down all the way to 25 giga. So if you are looking for an optical solution for 100G, 400G, for now 100 giga is where the action is and uh, 400 especially at this 56 giga serial is really sort of the bleeding edge you get a module which can handle all of that at once today uh, that's uh, that's the point of the setup at OFC where everybody is showing uh, uh, future looking solutions the nice thing about our future looking solution it is already there for today's market Additionally, there is a module which can do single mode, multi mode. That one will not, of course, run at 56 gigabaud. That's for 100G market uh, for the multi mode solutions. The last part of the whole system, of course, it's uh, not just to capture the signal, not generate and then just capture it, but also analyze it. So here is the latest version of our ATS JNB jitter noise analysis software, calculates BER as well. And this is now of fully uh, PAM4 enabled, so I can select PAM2 and RZ or PAM4. So here obviously I'm selecting PAM4. I'm analyzing the signal. I have detailed log, uh, detailed eye diagrams where actually the software is smart enough to find the optimal timing and threshold point. On the top of that, uh, I can go get all of these uh, bathtubs, all of the results overlaid. I can get global, global results. I can get per eye results. I can do measurements like rise fall measurements on all the edges in the system. That's all available today in the latest version of ATS JNB. The uh, last bit, which might be useful for many users, is we have features such as channel insertion, de embedding, equalization, which now, and this is also new, includes CTLE besides the usual FFE, DFE solution, all embedded in no additional software necessary. Thank you very much. This is Pavel from uh, OFC 2016.